Christian. We found him in the Sahara. If that man is not mad, he's a spy. Here is a gold coin. And tell Ali to kill him immediately. Take him! Out! I'm the enemy of no man. The God of love sends me to speak with you, King of the East. I am told you speak to animals. And they understand your words. If they do, it is because I love them, as I love all God's creatures. You love us too? Your enemies? Of course. This God you speak of, why did he send you to see me? To reach your heart. Not with the sword, but with his love. Through the love in my heart. All this love. You wish to surrender your armies? They're not mine to surrender. I ask only for peace. How can there be peace with no surrender? If you would embrace the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, peace must follow. I didn't learn your language to hear these insults. You wish to die? I am prepared to die for peace. You die a brave man, but you are not reasonable. You want me to worship your Christ, but I reply, you come to Mohammed. You embrace the faith of the great prophet of God. There also lies peace. Order your servants to build a great fire. Let me and your priest enter its flames. Then God may show us whose is the greater faith. My priests do not appear eager to submit to your test. However, I'll see to it that they accept your challenge. Have a fire built in front of the tent. Sultan, I beg you, do not sacrifice me for this man's madness. Allah has not been served well today. But fear in a few priests is not enough to prove that you are right. Then I will enter the fire alone. Have you no fear at all? I fear only my sins. For if I should be burned to death, it would be due only to them. But if God protects me, you must admit that both his power and compassion are very great. I would. Then will you promise, both for yourself and for your people, that if I come out of this fire unharmed, you will embrace the faith of my God? What is it that gives you such courage? Your faith or your blindness? My faith in God's love. Is it your God's great love that drives Christians to fight wars? To kill? To plunder and destroy? Do they deserve sacrifices such as yours? If men were more perfect, they would need less compassion. God is not in the sword or in the taking of life, but in the giving of life. For he is love. God, go with me. Stop. Don't kill yourself. Return to your people in safety and tell the Christians that if they were all like you, I would not hesitate to kneel to your God. And if our peoples continue to pursue the ways of hate, then war upon war will return until we will become the destroyers of the world. Only Allah knows which of us is right. I will arrange a safe journey for you to the city of your Christ, Jerusalem. Stay there in peace. You have not made a Christian today, but you have made a true friend. That is the first step. Peace be with you.